bloody good beer. <laughs> That's gold. This was night one. It was a Thursday night, it was pouring rain. That's our very first tank of beer with the brew house in the back. You can see we're both very, very excited. We had to borrow a ute to actually get the first pallet of beer into town. It was the 28th of November, 2008, just a short 10 years ago. The local community, as they are now, you know, 10 years ago, were just simply amazing. All of a sudden, people started to hear that we've got this brewery and random people would just roll through that front gate and come through the brewery. And they're just the local communities wanted to be involved in what was going on. Well, I was a shed. <laughs> yeah. And Brad was up there screaming at me and I was down there packing and... <laughs> but it was uh, the best time of my life, really. I do remember the first time I tried it. It was at the rails when they first released it. Um, the general response was that uh, it was a Passiona fruit bomb. You still drinking that perfume, Greg? <laughs> All of a sudden, you know, your taste buds change. It's the middle of summer, it's hot, and that's just the perfect beer just to just refresh. From day one, it was a second home and it still is today. You can't buy that. You cannot buy that. Brad said, have a sip of that. It was just gold. Well, it's interesting, you look at 10 years, you look at 10 years of, of, of your own life, that's a big portion. What Stoner would have done and what Stoner Wood means to me is that as much as it's grown and as big as it's got and as interesting and different in a lot of ways, it's kept at its essence. I cannot believe what those three guys did. It is just, to me, unbelievable. So after 10 years of brewing, 10 years of Stonewood, we brewed a very special beer. 10 year beer is really just a celebration of us. Reaching a, a milestone, it's small in the grand scheme of things of the uh, brewing histories of the world, but for us, it's a, it's a wonderful achievement. That aroma, there's wonderful dark fruits, hints of coconut, roast, chocolate. It's just lovely. It's a big decadent brew, it's huge. It's big, it's bold. You know, it's a beer to be sipped and savoured and shared. Best things in life are shared, and so are the best beers. It's, it's so rounded and smooth. It is, it's velvety. Good it's house, amazing. mate. Ten years has been a journey. There has been so many incredible beers that have come out of Stone and Wood and come out of our, our, our home here in Byron. We obviously see a lot of Pacific Ale and Cloudcatcher and Green Coast Lager, but there's been an awesome amount of other brews uh, gone through the place as well. Definitely sticky nectar, hands down, yeah. It's got to be forefathers from last year with the bergamot. Tasty drop. Put it this way, every month I have at least one carton of Pacific Ale. There's been lots of really kind of good, interesting beers, but I'll go back to the Amasia, the Scotch Ale, and so um, bring it back, Stonewood. Cloudcatcher. It's got to be the Dead East Ale. Absolute cracking beer. And that's been around for yonks. 2017 Barrel Age Stone Beer, definitely a winter warmer. My favourite beer is actually Green Coast Lager. That's a cracking beer. That's a fucking good question, Jones. I'm a lager lover. <laughs> it's like choosing one of your kids. All the beers are pretty special. Whilst 10 years is unbelievably cool and something to be very proud of, which I am, I'm more excited about the next 10 years. <laughs>